good afternoon. I uh, was reading something to the effect, or somebody said to me that, you know, uh, God can't do anything by himself. He needs human hands to do it. And one story that really emulates that and illustrates it very effectively is a story that came out of the Second World War. After the war was over, a detachment of uh, soldier, American soldiers were given responsibility for uh, uh, maintaining uh, uh, peace and, uh, and rest, uh, peace and all that with this village. And uh, so they were had a lot of time on their hands and they decided they'd help try to do something to help rehabilitate the village because it had been severely bombed and uh, much destruction around. So they decided to start on the church and they started cleaning up the church and they did it with a great deal of enthusiasm and joy. And as they were doing it, they came on upon a uh, marble statue of Jesus Christ. And uh, as they got it, they decided to put it back together. And so they found the pieces and they found cement and they cemented it all back together. But when they had finished the project, uh, they, they couldn't find the hands of, 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 the, of, the, of the statue. So uh, they would, took it and they put it in a niche where it was supposed to be within the church. And they, one of the soldiers got an inspiration and he hang, hung a placard over the, uh, over the statue and it said, uh, he has no hands of his own, you are, you are his hands. And that's really true, that we are the hands of, of, of God. We're the ones that have to help make things happen. We don't need to expect it. Uh, the angels are come, going to come down and take care of us, but we have to help ourselves and we have to be responsible for helping others. And that's a, a joy that all of us really need to get a hold of because helping others is what is the way we find energy to help ourselves. May the good Lord help you in that end today. May the Lord, Lord bless you.